Good day everyone, this is CV103, Building Systems Design, Unit 1, Module 2, Computer Aided Drafting. So welcome to the second module of this course. Uh, for this lesson, we will be defining what is um, CAD and CAD. Um, it is also important that you practice uh, on how you use these um, uh, CAD softwares in making drawings and plans. Okay, so by the, end of, by the end of this module, you should be able to first define what is CAD and CAD, and uh, hopefully, you will master the use of computer aided design drafting in making plans and software. So the most common or the most popular um, computer aided design drafting software is AutoCAD. So uh, yun din yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so uh, moving from manual drafting to computer aided design drafting was an important step in terms of potential, uh, in terms of the potential of today's technology. So, um, in terms of um, uh, convenience and use, um, computer aided design and drafting uh, softwares uh, have made a great changes in the way uh, the construction is uh, being done. So CAD or computer aided drafting originally meant computer aided drafting because of its original use as replacement for traditional drafting. So um, nung una, when CAD was uh, developed, um, it is only used for drafting lang. But now, um, it is usually refers to computer in design also, so Marin Shang design to reflect the fact that modern CAD tools do more than just drafting. So, meron ang mga um, uh, 3D design, meron ang mga uh, computations uh, involved when you are uh, draw, drawing. So, yun yung uh, improvement ng CAD uh, ngayon. So, that's why it is called computer aided design and drafting. Okay, so computer aided design and drafting uh, is an electronic tool that enables you to rapidly create accurate drawings with the use of computer, of course. In fact, an experienced computer drafter can normally produce a construction drawing in less time than it would take if it was done manually. So, ito yung pinaka-advantage ng um, computer software or uh, technical drafting kasi mas mabilis mo natatapos yung uh, mga drawing mo. So, uh, specifically, you can create professional drawings just by using a mouse and click buttons on the key keyboard. So, um, click, click lang, move, move. So, ma ma matatapos mo yung uh, drawing mo and it is a on a professional level. Next is, have many advantages over traditionally produced drawings, uh, of course. So, uh, mas accurate yung mga lines, accurate yung mga measurements, um, yung time, of course, yung speed. So, uh, yung reproduction, mas mabilis siya. So, yun yung uh, advantage na CAD. Um, you can produce neat, accurate, and highly presentable na mga output. So, it's a, it's a case natin, yung mga um, uh, drawing plans. So, uh, yun yung mga uh, out, uh, highly presentable yung magiging uh, output no during natin. So, um, can, can be easily modified and converted to variety of formats. So, um, it can be easily modified kasi open mo lang software, kung meron kang changes, pwede mong gawin. Then, tsaka mo print So, you can print it on a paper, you can save it as a, uh, uh, other formats like a PDF, mga, ganun, mga uh, images. So, depende sa paggagamitan. Next is, it can be saved on the computer, of course, a flash uh, or hard drive or uh, flash drive, a CD or an external hard drive. So, um, since it is a um, uh, output of a software, so meron siyang soft copy. Where? Where? Pwede siya ngayon, pwede na siya i-email, so, tsaka doon yung print. So, uh, ganun na convenient ngayon nyo sa construction in terms of um, uh, making uh, drawing plans. Okay, so CAD presentation. So, 
Although CAD is um, primarily intended for single line drafting, so as I was saying, kanina, it was re as a replacement lang for manual drafting. And it has a very limited capabilities to create artistic artistic impression. So, uh, hindi siya kung if you are making an art, hindi siya parang free art siya. So, meron siyang mga limit limitations. But uh, in terms of 3D and rendering features, um, uh, it is quite impressive. So, uh, CAD or AutoCAD has a uh, 3D um, uh, feature na um, tapos i-render niya into uh, more realistic na mga ano so um, so you can create fine drawings with hundreds of colors line types hatch patterns presentation symbols textiles and other features so yun yung um, uses ng AutoCAD so and also Uh, in addition to preparing impressive presentation on paper, CAD can be used also to make an on-screen presentation. So, ideas can be presented on screen by merely plugging the computer a projector. So, ganun siya. So, advanced CAD programs. So, may mga advanced CAD programs na ngayon that allow you to, to create animate, animated images. So, ibig sabihin nun, you can show how a building would appear while walking through or how a machine assembly will operate as different machine parts move. So, parang ano siya, parang virtual tour. Yun yung uh, literal na virtual tour. Kasi, while using CAD, you can animate uh, your drawing, your 3D, where you enter the building. So, nagita yung kung ano yung mga uh, design sa loob at sa labas. So, um, a 3D model of an object can be created and viewed from various angles. Kasi, pwede mo siya ma-rotate, depende kung anong angle yung gusto mong i-render. So, uh, with proper and correct shading and rendering, so depending kung uh, magaling ng magaling ka na, so it can be made to look very realistic, so uh, as I was saying kanina, no? So, yun yung, uh, uh, that, that is why a 3D and rendering features of um, AutoCAD or CAD softwares are quite impressive. So, in terms of editing flexibility, one of the main advantages of CAD is that it allows quick alterations to drawing. So, as I was saying kanina, pa, kung may mga alteration man, so, meron kang single file na yun na yung i-correct mo then ipaprint mo ulit. So, hindi ka na mag-start from scratch. So, depende na kung anong part or anong uh, specific changes yung gagawin mo, then yun lang yung gagalawin mo din. So, modifications can be made with with pinpoint accuracy. So, and um, it, uh, it takes only seconds to do a job that would otherwise take hours on a drawing board to produce. So in case of uh, in case in many cases you may not even have to erase section to make um, the change. The uh, change. So um, you can often rearrange the existing components. So parang for example, yung orientation ng bahay or yung arrangement ng mga room. So Pwede na yung room na mismo yung i-move mo, depende sa uh, bagong uh, changes na i-apply mo. So, rearrange the existing components of the drawing to fit the new shape. So, this uh, enables the designer to compare various options with min minimal effort, of course. So, uh, yeah, gan ganyan ka flexible yung um, uh, CAD softwares na yun. So, hopefully, uh, ma-master yung paggamit ng CAD. So, convenient talaga siya kasi on 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 uh, personal use uh syempre uh, we are dreaming of a uh, of uh, constructing our own house so you can practice na mag-design ng sarili ninyo mga uh, say dream houses no so um that will also uh, enable you na ma-practice niyo yung AutoCAD kasi um shortcuts on how you draw an AutoCAD is uh, madali lang siya matutunan but uh, on how you master it uh, practice makes perfect yung uh, ma-apply sa AutoCAD talaga. Okay, so uh, the following are uh, some of the main editing capabilities of most uh, CAD systems. So first is, you can move, copy, mirror, or rotate drawing element with ease. So yan yung mga, uh, may mga corresponding command yung mga ganito. So move a component, you copy it, you mirror it, or rotate the drawing elements. So, yun lang. So, through a one-click lang din, 
ma magagawa mo na siya. And then, uh, in terms of, ano naman, sa manual drawing, if may i-move ka, so hindi mo pwedeng i-move na lang basta, so erase mo siya, din tsaka mo, i-draw na naman ulit sa bagong location niya. So, gan gan ka-flexible yung AutoCAD ngayon. So, you can enlarge or reduce elements of drawing, so yung scale niya, palakihin mo, palilitin mo. And then, make multiple copies of a drawing element. Add one or more drawings to another drawing. Change font style and size. So, kung magkita yung mga drawing plans, there are also text na included. So, you can choose your own font style and font size. So, depende sa gusto niyo. So, there are designers na may unique talaga siya na fonts and font style na ginagamit. Change units of measurements of measurement of dimension so you can use um, english units metric units so mga meter uh, mm feet uh, inches so depende sa gagamitin niyo depende sa drawing niyo but um, usually on machines so medyo maliit yung mga scale but or yung units pero sa mga house design na so meter na ginagamit or feet and then you can stretch drawings to fit new dimension and convert cad drawings to other format. So, um, if you're familiar with um, SketchUp, so SketchUp is a uh, software that uh, enables you to create uh, uh, 3D representations of an object. So, um, you can, uh, from CAD, you can import CAD to, um, say you have a floor plan sa AutoCAD, pwede mo siyang i-open dun sa SketchUp, then dun ka mag-start ng uh, 3D version niya. So, uh, when I was uh, studying then, so yun yung uh, parate namin ginagamit yung sketch, SketchUp. But, um, as of today, marami ng mga ad mas advanced na na mga uh, 3D modeling na mga sa softwares ngayon. So, you can search on that. Okay, so in terms of unit and accuracy levels, so CAD allows you to work with greater accuracy. So, if you need to create highly accurate geometric shapes while avoiding um, time-consuming mathematical calculations, so uh, the answer is yung AutoCAD. So, um, why? Because uh, e, the draw mo lang dun, no? So, you can uh, enter the dimension or sample kukuha ka ng area. So, merong option dun na area. So, you will select the points of the or corners ng area, then mo mo na yung area. So, Ganun yung, ganun ka, ano na yung card ngayon. So, computer software programs like CAD allows, you, allows the designer to work with different units of measure. So, mayroong architectural units, engineering units, scientific units, reverse units. So, depende sa uh, application niya. So, CAD now is hindi lang applied sa paggawa ng houses. So, you can also uh, make a um, uh, iba-iba mga gamit. So, uh, machines, mga uh, surveyors, outputs, na mga um, Uh, land land uh, plot so pwede mong gawin dun sa um, AutoCAD so when working with engineering units the designer or drafter can specify whether all dimensions should be presented in, in inches uh, feet inches centimeters or meters so yung sabi ko kanina So, meron yung mga angular units of uh, measurement such as um, decimal degrees, minutes, seconds, radians. So, uh, sa mga surveyor na yun, no? kasi uh, when you are um, drawing a lot or yung uh, uh, portion of land, so may mga, uh, yung mga boundaries niya are uh, measured with length and its um, coordinates and uh, angle. So, uh, degrees, seconds, and minutes. Okay, so for AutoCAD tutorial, so I'll be attaching um, files and video links for AutoCAD tutorial. So um, I cannot make my own AutoCAD tutorial no? kasi ma may available na sa YouTube. Mas marami dun, mas maganda, mas magaling yung um, mga tutorial and may intindihan. So uh, I am sharing you a video link of a uh, AutoCAD tutorial. So it is a series, parang tatlong episode data or tatlong 
uh, videos uh, for complete tutorial ng AutoCAD. Then, after nun, is practice-practice na lang din kayo para mas ma-enhance nyo yung AutoCAD nyo. So, um, as an engineer, as an aspiring civil engineer, it is very important na magaling, ta uh, I mean, marunong tayo mag AutoCAD and mag-excel tayo in AutoCAD and other aspects of uh, civil engineering. Okay, so... Um, that's it for the uh, second module. So, <clears throat> uh, I will give you time to practice AutoCAD, so please do so. So, I'll post later your, the uh, schedules. So, that's all. So, that ends our module 2. And thank you for listening and have a good day.